Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What's going on, everybody? My name is Zella Prince, and welcome to something different than what I know. This has been a channel I have been debating whether to react to for literally two years now. And after much consideration and thoughts about it, I'm not really the kind of guy who cares anymore what people uh, like prefer on this channel. I'm at the point now in my... Uh, life in terms of YouTube videos as well that I just want to react to what I find. So with that truly being said guys, we're gonna be reacting to Victor Transit. I don't know who storyteller that made makes his own stories that is from the stories of Sodors for um for channel. I've been watching him since literally se since the announcement of season two. Like back in twenty eighteen. And the last two years since I started, well, three, almost four years now since I started doing reaction videos back in 2019, uh, I've been debating whether or not to react to him on this channel because I wasn't sure how you guys beat it. But after much consideration, I am fine with doing anything. I'm literally in the part where I don't care what you guys see. What particular guidelines you guys want me to say? But I'm at the point where I just want to like thin out on what kind of videos I want to make. Mostly reaction videos. Now this is my reaction video. But that all truly being said, today, guys, we're gonna react to two videos today. Because the first one is literally two minutes long. SCP Sodor prologue, and then I'll be reacting to the next one right after. I forgot the name. But I'm gonna look at it before right into the next one um so yeah for two videos today in one and one reaction that being said guys hope I'm, i've been a thomas fan literally since i was a child oh so that picture guys i hope you and it's scp related too so uh when actually before i start the video i also just want to say i will be reacting to Hendrix, uh, season five out eventually and the rest of series of Sodor when they come out, starting with season five and all. So I think that's really all I really want to say in terms of my comments. Watch. That being said, guys, hopefully. Three. On them docks, 2005. Oh, Douglas. Uh, was that Donald? Who are these guys? I don't, I don't recognize two of the diesels here. Uh, I'm bored. Diesel and... Hi, bored. I'm Iris. You're also not funny. I can't believe how long this is taking. We should count ourselves lucky they're able to fix it at all. This thing is an antique by today's standards. So are most of us here, old boy. Haha, <laughs> too true. And these are the same men who've kept us running. I'm sure they'll have the turntable back in order. I believe that. I just wish we hadn't been stuck in here for the last three days. We just need to find a way to pass the time. You got any more stories to tell us, Edward? Sorry, my dear. I'm tapped out. I could always tell them again if you want. Do you? <laughs> Bruce is not going to like that. How much of a prat I used to be. What do you mean, used to be? Still not funny. If you don't want me to, Bruce. No, no, it's fine. Go ahead, Edward. All right. I'll start with when Percy joined our ranks. It was 1934 and... 
Edward, are you alright? Sorry, I just had an idea. How about instead of hearing stories about things that happened, what about some that might have happened? What do you mean by that? Have you ever heard of the SCP Foundation? Is that some kind of charity? No, it's a secret organization that investigates supernatural phenomena all over the world. Sounds like they'd have a ball on Sodor. Indeed, and they might well Indeed. have been here. What are you on about? One of the chaps told me about it. It's this very popular online wiki. It has thousands of entries detailing the various anomalies the Foundation has encountered or contained over the years. Recently, he showed me a few that were based on Sodor, but it's fictional? I'm honestly not sure. They take place during the 50s and 60s. A lot of strange things happen during that time. If these entries are true, it would fill in some of the gaps. What do they talk about? <laughs> a mysterious cave? A lucky fortune? A misunderstood creature? A scoundrel? And an ancient machine? You mean the turntable? You're also not <laughs> funny. Go on, Edward. <laughs> so you want to hear about them? Aye, matey. Yes, please. Yeah, sure. All right, then. These are the SCPs of Sodor. Beginning October 8th. I was in surgery when the first two videos came out. Well, the first one, and then the second one came out a week later when I was... And by me recording this on the... Tomorrow, on the day I'm recording this, the next video will be coming out. So I'll be able to get on track... SCPs of Sodor. I can tell this isn't like I don't know if this is going to be a headcanon to his series, but from what I can tell, it might be headcanon to this. Oh, so, I'm going to go ahead and click on the next video. Video. Okay. Ready for the next SCPs of Sodor episode, Path of Dead. I don't know what to say about this. I just want to get into it. Um, so, what well, that hey guys? Not really, not really sure what to expect. Oldie fell, 1957. King trail number one. For you guys. Oh, it's the wind. What's that? The howling. Rocky, I sometimes wonder if you have more fingers and brain cells. That <laughs> noise. What do you think it is? I don't know. The wind? How can wind sound like that? I don't know. Why don't you go look for it? All right, but you have to come with me. Fine. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think this goes back to the Oldie Fell episode. The episodes. I remember that. I think it was just called the cold. Okay. Ah. Hey, I was right. That's depressing in more ways than one. <sighs> Come on, we should. Cave. What do you think that says? Search me. I've got a bad feeling about this place. We should go. You can, but I'm going in. Are you mad? It might be dangerous. Don't be such a pansy, Tony. Rocky, you daft kid, get back here. I swear, of all the stupid... <laughs> what hell was that? The SCPs of Sodor. Path of the Dead. And a ghost came out? Dr. Hatley, I'm Dr. Pierce. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Sorry I'm late. I just got back from an assignment in Turkey when they told me I was coming here. How unfortunate. Follow me, please. It's the hiker. Now, 
Now, what do you make of this? Well, it's ancient Sudrian. It's one of the more obscure- Hold up, ma'am. Don't get too close. Dr. Hatley, this is Agent Potter, our Chief of Security. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Sorry, but I must insist you stay back. It's all right. I read the report. Have you been able to find the entity that came out? No, but the witness wasn't exactly reliable. The poor man was in shock, sir. I believe you know Dr. Murphy. Yes, indeed, sir. We joined the Foundation at the same time. How are you, Angus? Better for having seen you, Gwen. What have you been up to these past- you you can chit-chat on your own time. Dr. Hatley, you were saying? I was oh. saying that ancient Sudrian is one of the more obscure so all friends. languages. There is a chance I may not be able to decipher the entire text, but I'll do my best. Very well. While you're handling that, we'll proceed with the testing. I assume that means you'll start sending in D-Class, sir? Of course. Is there a problem? I do have a moral objection to using D-Class. Are you planning on sabotaging our experiments? No, sir. Then you clearly don't object that much. Agent Potter, escort <laughs> Dr. Hatley to our desk. Yes, sir. This I, tend to, I tend to forget how ruthless the SCP Foundation can be, if, if not watching their videos for long patients. Charming man. Uh, he's not the friendliest bloke, but he is reasonable and knows when to show appreciation. What about empathy and compassion? No comment, ma'am. Cave to hell or something? Gwen, is everything all right? It was. I've been able to translate the entire text save one word. What have you got so far? If life enters before its time, the dead will... Any ideas? Fly? Sorry. As chief medical officer, I recommend you take a break. You'll feel much better for it. Good idea. You know, I've always wanted to visit Sodor. Its history and mythology are extremely fascinating. Yes, and the locals practically revere King Godred and his legend. I remember hearing something about Cody fleeing up this mountain. I don't understand why he'd do that. Maybe he knew he had a place to hide, or a means of escape. Wait. I see the D-Class have arrived. Yes, Dr. Pierce is going to start sending them in. Please tell me you don't approve of this, Angus. Of course not. The first law of medicine is do no harm. Unfortunately, this barbaric policy gets results, and until someone comes up with something better, the Foundation will stick with this. I don't suppose you'll be observing the tests? Not if I can help it. I'd rather not be party to human sacrifice. Report. The radar's ready, sir, but we still don't know if we'll be able to track anything that comes out. Assuming we can, are your teams in place? Yes, sir. I have several squads ready to deploy with aircraft on standby if we need to chase anything beyond Sodor. Very well. Now, D7426. Stop calling me that! My name is irrelevant. Take this radio, head inside that cave, and report what you see. What's in there? And what's this about something coming out? That is not your concern. Great. Another opportunity for suicide. Is that why you call us D class? Because we're disposable. D7426, if you wish to return to your cell, you need only say. Otherwise, you will do as instructed. Oh, all right, all right, I'm going. Phew, tosser. <laughs> D7426, can you- <laughs> Agent Potter! There's nothing on the screen, sir. Was there a malfunction? No, sir, the radar's working. I guess those things just don't show up. <sighs> How unfortunate. Eesh. Oh, hello, Toby. What are you doing here? Alright, what do you see? What are you looking at? J -j Jeffries? That's Station Master Jeffries! When are you going to get that through your thick- Oh no, I didn't take your abuse when you were alive. I won't take it from you now. What do you mean when I was alive? I mean you died, you prat. I know that, you fool! It happened right here! Wait, what? I died? But, but, how am I- No, this isn't right. Oh, I shouldn't- be here! Oh, oh. oh! What the bloody hell?
Okay. Report. We've completed the autopsy. Cause of death was a heart attack. The rest of his organs were normal. There weren't any abnormalities in his blood, bone, or tissue, and we compared dental records. By all accounts, that man was the late station master of Ellsbridge, Alexander Jeffries. The engine who found him was sure of that. I trust he has been amnestitized, alongside his crew and any other witnesses. Of course, we took their statements before wiping their memories. This Jeffries bloke sounds like a real tosser. The engine said when he died the first time, nobody showed up at his funeral, not even the vicar. Damn. <laughs> Bad luck right after returning from the dead. Returning? Return? Return, return. Agent Potter, you're a genius. That's it. If life enters before its time, the dead will return. But that means, oh my god, it does exist. How did I miss that? Dr. Hartley, settle down. What are you talking about? The path of the dead. It was said to have been constructed by ancient shamans wanting to explore the afterlife. This offended the spirits, so they cursed it. If anyone living tried to enter, they would be taken and replaced by the dead. Is that what those things are? Ghosts? Let's refrain from using such simple vernacular, Agent Potter. What else can you tell us about this path? That's I mean, what else would you call them? The of King Godra is the only reference to it, and that context was only provided because Kaldi was said to have thrown people in for his own amusement, a possible gateway to the afterlife. Interesting. This warrants further testing. How are we going to solve the radar problem? I'm confident with some adjustments we'll find a solution. With all due respect, sir, I have a real problem with that. Based on the Station Master's experience, it sounds like the cave works as advertised. Agreed. We would literally be raising the dead. That's not natural. No, That's it's not. God, the Foundation does that on a regular basis. Um, that is true. He hasn't crumbled. Your concerns are justified, but perseverance and risk-taking is the bedrock of good science. It still doesn't sit well with me, sir. Me neither. Then you're free to continue not observing the tests. I won't force you. I'm a hypocrite, aren't I? Yes, but at least you're in good company. I can understand why you hate this, Angus, but why do you have a problem with using D-Class, Dr. Hatley? As an archaeologist, I've dug up slaves all over the world. Many of them were just left where they died. I know it sounds ridiculous, but you can almost feel the sadness in their bones. That's what I think of D-Class. They're the slaves of the Foundation. So them being criminals doesn't matter to you? Criminals have long been used for all sorts of horrible things. That doesn't make it right. I assume you don't have a problem with it, Gavin? No, no. <laughs> I have no sympathy for crooks, especially the ones that commit violent crimes. Like the one we seen the other day, he murdered five people. And what did he do? I'm not sure. That... yeah. Excuse me, can I ask you some questions? About what? How did you end up working for the Foundation? I was in prison. They offered me a way out. I took it when they said I might get killed. You want to die? Why? For the same reason I was inside. I got blind drunk one night and burned down my house. With my wife and kids inside. Every day since I've prayed for death, but God never hears me, wanker. What's your name? D5702, you've been given your assignment. Proceed. All right. That guy doesn't give a shit. It's Bob. Bobby Cooper. Bobby I think I've heard that name before. Serious. Oh, another spirit. Agent Potter? Nothing, sir. The adjustment didn't work. <sighs> How unfortunate. Now we got another ghost. Who's gonna see it this time? Another adjustment. And he's gonna get shot. Yep. What? <laughs> wow, they've been here for a while. Nineteen fifty eight, whole year. Okay. Five seven. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs>
Can I help you? Can oh, you this implies to the uh, secrets it's episode. Questions we would like to ask you, D5702. All right, but I'll answer them only if you use my name. It's Boko, right? Is that short for something? Yeah, Bobby Cooper. Whoa. Oh, can boy. Can you remember anything that happened before your first firing? How can I remember something that happened before I was alive? Was that a yes or a no? No. Have you ever been sent to prison? No, I've stayed out of Railgate. I didn't say Railgate, I said prison. Where else do they send problem engines? <sighs> Do you feel like you've been here before? You mean Sodor? D57, I mean Boko. Answer my questions without asking your own. And yes, do you feel like you've been on Sodor before? No. Have you ever worked for any organizations other than British Railways? No. Do we look familiar at all? No. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Why are you asking me all these? Hang on, what's the time? 9.15? Oh no, I'm late to pick up the express. I've got to go. You might want to have someone take a look at your engine first. It doesn't sound too good. That's because it doesn't work. Like the rest of me, I'm a failure. Oh shit. <laughs> That break that brings back. I had literally just watched that episode do think, two days ago. That as far as he's concerned, everything he just said was the truth. Are you sure there's no more information on the path of the dead? Yes, sir. The legend was it. I can't explain this. Could it be a coincidence? Highly unlikely, but possible. And to think we might never have made this discovery if you hadn't gone to the effort of speaking with D5702. Good work, Dr. Hatley. And with translating the text. I apologize it took me so long to say that. Um, you're welcome, sir. The means notwithstanding, I agree this is pretty exciting and very good timing. The Foundation was about to suspend any further testing on the cave. This should give them a reason to allow us to continue. Eesh. And it did for a while, but they were never able to find a way to track the entities. So the Foundation withdrew from the mountain and had the Sodor Council ban anyone from hiking on it. The Foundation can do that? It seems they can do anything. I am inclined to believe the Council was pressured from an external source, but I'm sure it wasn't the Foundation. Then who? The Caldifel Railway's anonymous investors. Turns out they were a group of local businessmen. They certainly had the motivation to discourage hiking. Why let people walk to the top for free when they can pay to get there by rail? Has anyone tried climbing the mountain? despite the ban? Oh yes, most get caught and pay a heavy price, literally, but a few have disappeared. Maybe they found the cave. Didn't you say you saw Mr. Star after your accident? I also saw an engine with the face of an elephant. That was probably just the effects of the green water. Still, I have to wonder. And I have to wonder about poor Brian. I know Mickey explained his reaction, but given how similar it was to that Jeffries fellow... Ugh, Jeffries. Of yeah. all the mongrels who didn't deserve a second shot at life. Agreed. A pity I can't ask Toby about that. But I did ask Boko if anyone interviewed him. Surprisingly, they did, but they never said where they were from. Does he know about the wiki? He did after I told him. He wasn't too thrilled at the idea he might be the reincarnation of a dead prisoner, or slave if you prefer. Do you think the cave exists? It's possible. It is mentioned in the legend, but that's it. If it does exist, I only hope the next person to find it doesn't let curiosity kill them. Right. Oh, shit. Uh, no hiking finds a fly. Who are you? Came back. Wait. Dom could it be Dominic? Douglas is on the hill. It has to be Dominic. He's the only other engine person that died on the hill. Yep, it's Dominic. Oh, it just ended like that? Okay, there was no credits. All right, um... <laughs> All right, well, that definitely took the cake. It does answer a couple of questions that I had throughout season four that I watched. Um, I do like Victor Transit's videos. He always leaves them so mysterious. So open to, um, to the comment section to speculate what's going on in the background that um, you as the viewers are watching. I love Victor Transit. That reason.
But um, with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's reaction video. I will be reacting to the next uh, video immediately after that. It was on my list. If you guys saw it back this, because there was absolutely no. And I have to keep keep an eye out for that now before the next video plays. But um, hopefully you enjoy, guys enjoyed the reaction video. Please like you in the next. Bye.